Okay, everybody, here is the wrap up. We'll start here with this jar. So this was probably a cold cream jar and it was made by the Hazel Atlas Company. So this was milk glass. So that's probably either from 1902 to 1964. So that's a pretty old piece. It's the first time I've ever found a milk glass jar like that. The spoon, it was silver plated. And when we looked that up, that was from the 1920s. Um, this piece here, I have no idea what that piece was, guys. If anybody knows what that could have been off of, let me know. Um, oh, okay, and we got the, this one here is a thimble. That's definitely a thimble. And this here, I found this, I didn't record it, but it must have been like a bell or something. So no idea what that could have been. Uh, there's that piece of glass. The only thing it said on it, reuse. So must have said do not reuse on it at one point in time. Ah, this cool thing here. I, I had no clue what it was, but here it's some kind of little statue. There's two army men. This must be shooting some kind of bazooka or something. And it says made in the USA on it, 791. So I'm not exactly sure what that would have been, but it is pretty cool. Um, well, okay, that was a cap. Uh, the buttons, that this was a Cub Scout USA button. Whoops, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the two mining tickets. These mining tickets are always awesome to find. That's a nice piece of history. Uh, this little button. A little corroded on the ends, but that's a cool old button. Um, all the chunks of lead. Oh, there's that cool, <laughs> that cool homemade sinker. Maybe somebody put it in that spoon. Yeah, you never know. If they did, they'd pour lead in the spoon like that and poke a hole in it. That's pretty cool. Bunch of bullets. It's amazing how many bullets you find. That was another sinker. Oh, just a bunch of uh, clad. And I did find seven wheat pennies, the oldest being 1920. That is super cool. I love finding the wheat pennies. I believe that's it. I think I covered everything. Oh, there's another button. That was another. Oh, and there's a dog tag here somewhere. <laughs> so it was a 1914 dog tag. So that is pretty cool. It's always awesome. Not dog tag, dog license, I'm sorry. <laughs> A dog license. It's always good to find old dog license like it. All right, I think that's it now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate everybody's support. And remember to always keep happy.